Welcome back students to the video lecture series. I am Adin Mansuri from Civil Engineering Department of LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So my dear students, in the previous video we discussed regarding the various types of pumps and also we discussed about the rising main. Okay. So in this video we will solve numerical based on the rising main. Okay. So let's have a look at the data. So the question says a city of population 1.5 lakh is to be supplied water at 100 LPCD from a river 1 kilometer away. Now the difference in the water level of the sub and reservoir is 30 meters. Okay. And if the demand is to be supplied in 8 hours, then determine the size of the main, right? That is we have to find out the diameter of the pipeline that is to be supplied. Okay. And BHP that is brake horsepower of the pump we have to assume maximum demand as 1.5 times as average demand and take f as 0.0075 and velocity in pipe as 2 meter per second with efficiency of pump as 75 percent okay so let's start with the solution so First of all, we have to find out the average demand. Okay. Now, how many people are there? 1.5 lakh. Okay. So, I am writing as. Okay. Clear. So, 1.5 lakh people. And how much is the demand? That is 100 LPCD. Right. So, total demand will be 15 into 10 to the power 6 liters. Agree? Because 1 lakh 50,000 right into 100 that will be equal to 15 into 10 to the power 6 liters. Or I can say this is equals to 15 MLD. Right? That is 1 sorry 10 is to 6 liters equals to 1 MLD. And 1 MLD is nothing but 1 million liters per day. Okay. Clear. So, per day that will be 15 MLD of water demand. Okay. Now, what they have written over here. Assume maximum demand as 1.5 times the average demand. Okay. So, we have to calculate the maximum demand. So, therefore maximum demand will be equals to 1.5 times average demand agree so this will be equals to 1.5 into 15 that will be equals to 22.5 mld agree so this will be the maximum demand clear now Next is discharge required. Discharge required in million liters per hour. Okay. Now we know that the demand is to be supplied in 8 hours. Okay. Now how much is the maximum demand? 22.5. Now this 22.5 million liters has to be supplied in 8 hours okay so this will be equals to discharge required in million liter per hour will be equals to 22.5 divided by 8 right and that will be in million liters per hour right so if i want to convert it into meter cube per second then this will be equals to 22.5 now million liters it means 10 is to 10 to the power 6 liters agree and 
वन लीटर विल बी इक्वल्स टू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री मीटर क्यूब एग्री राइट एंड डिवाइडेड बाई एट आवर्स नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड सो वन आवर हैज सिक्सटी मिनिट्स एंड सिक्सटी मिनिट्स एंड ईच मिनिट हैज सिक्सटी सेकेंड एग्री सो दिस विल बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट वन मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड राइट सो दिस विल बी दी मैक्सिमम डिस्चार्ज रिक्वायर्ड मैक्सिमम डिस्चार्ज रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो दैट विल बी डिनोटेड एज क्यू सो वी हैव टू सप्लाई वॉटर एट द रेट ऑफ पॉइंट सेवन एट वन मीटर क्यूब पर वन सेकेंड ओके नाउ वी आर गिवन दैट वेलॉसिटी इन पाइप टेक वेलॉसिटी इन पाइप एज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड राइट सो आई एम राइटिंग वेलॉसिटी ऑफ वॉटर इन पाइप लाइन दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू टू मीटर पर सेकेंड राइट सो नाउ देर फॉर कैन आई से क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया विल बी इक्वल्स टू डिस्चार्ज बाय वेलॉसिटी बिकॉज वी नो दैट क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू ए वी सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट एरिया दैट विल बी डिस्चार्ज बाय वेलॉसिटी सो दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू पॉइंट सेवन एट वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट पॉइंट थ्री नाइन मीटर स्क्वायर एग्री राइट नाउ वी नो दैट वी नो दैट area of cylinder will be pi by 4 d square right that is cross sectional area will be pi by 4 d square so can i write that pi by 4 into d square will be equals to this much area that is equals to 0.39 right therefore d will be equals to under root of 4 into 0.39 divided by pi, and that will be equals to 0.704. Now we need to provide round of figure, right? So diameter of pipeline. If I say that if I round off this, that will be equals to 0.71 meter, right? But diameter of or the pipe of diameter 0.71 meter will not be available. So For our convenience, we will say 0.75 meter. Okay, clear? Now, now they have given that difference in the difference in the water level of some difference in the water level of some. and reservoir is 30 meters okay clear so if i say that this is the ground level okay here there is a pump okay this is say for example it is pump right and below the ground there will be sump okay and above the ground there will be reservoir okay clear so we know that this head is known as hs right this known this head is known as hd right so this is the difference between the sump and the reservoir right so pump will be delivering at this point okay so this value so now here i can say that hs plus hd head due to sump and head due to delivery will be equals to 30 meters okay now we know that total head is equals to hl plus hs plus hd right that is head loss then head loss due to sump and due to delivery discharge right 
so we know that head loss that is hl due to flow will be 4 fl v square upon 2 gd right so that will be equals to 4 f we are given as 0 0.0075 now length of pipe that was given as 1 meter right because sorry 1 kilometer because the city of population 1.5 lakh is to be supplied water at 100 lpcd from a river 1 kilometer away okay so length will be 1 kilometer so in place of 1 kilometer i will write as 1000 meter velocity is considered as 2 so velocity square 2 square divided by 2 into g that is 9.81 and we have found out the diameter that is 0.75 agree so head loss due to friction will be equals to 8.155 meter okay so putting over here therefore total head will be equals to 30 plus 8.155 that will be equals to 38.155 meter right agree now we need to find out we need to find out bhp right so therefore bhp the formula of bhp is gamma q h upon 75 into eta okay where eta is efficiency gamma will be density of water q will be discharge and h will be head loss okay or total head so here q will be equal uh, gamma so bhp will be equals to gamma is 1000 density of water or unit weight of water then density of water so gamma will be density of water q will be 0.781 right then h will be 38.155 then 75 into efficiency that is 0 0.75 so bhp will be equals to 530 horsepower okay so this is the answer okay so we found out two values first one found out the diameter right so what was the diameter here answer one find out the diameter 0.75 meter and this is the answer two okay clear okay students so let us move ahead with the next numerical so let's have the data that is solve the above numerical by hazem williams equation by taking ch as 120 okay so we all know that the formula of velocity by hazen williams equation is given by v equals to 0 0.85 ch r raised to 0.63 s raised to 0.54 right now we know that v equals to 2 meter per second right now r is defined as hydraulic mean depth that is equals to a by p and for pipe it is always equals to d by 4 how it is coming r will be equals to a by p area will be pi by 4 d square right and perimeter will be pi d so this will be equals to d by 4 okay so diameter we have found out that is 0 0.75 by 4 and that will be equals to 0 0.1875 meter right now we have been given ch equals to 120 right so putting everything in this equation so 
velocity therefore velocity equals to 2 0.85 as it is ch is 120 r is 0.1875 raised to 0.63 as we don't know so we will write as it is and 0.54 right so therefore s will be equals to 4.853 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay and now we need to find out head loss so head loss will be equals to slope into length right so this is nothing but 4.853 into 10 to the power minus 3 into length how much is the length one kilometer we have been given right so that is equals to 1000 meter so head loss here will be equals to 4.853 meter okay so what will be the total head so therefore total head will be equals to h hl plus hs plus hd right so hl we have found out 4.853 and hs plus hd we have given by default that is 30 so total head will be 34.853 right and therefore bhp will be equals to gamma q h upon 7 phi eta right gamma 1000 q 0.781 h 34.853 divided by 7 phi into 0.7 phi right so this value will be equals to 483.91 hp okay so this is will our answer okay so now let's have a look at the data again right so here if we want to supply if we want to supply 22.5 MLD in 8 hours, right, for public of or for population of 1.5 lakh, which is 1 kilometers away, right, and if we calculate it using this equation, then we will be able to find out that brake horsepower required by pump will be 530 HP, right, and if we solve by Weizen Williams equation, then this will be 483.91 HP. Okay, fine. So that's all for today's video. We will start the water treatment processes in the next video.